How to program a cable. This tutorial will illustrate how to program a cable with Quadtex Meridian Wire and Harness Analyzer. Once you have started up the Meridian, click on Meridian. Under the Cables tab, click New. If your adapters have signatures, they will automatically show up as a proper position. If your adapters do not have signatures, we will need to add them. To do this, simply click on Add and select the adapter you'd like to use. Next, you need to select the position you'd like to place your adapter. You can always remove the adapter if you make a mistake along the process. You can also verify if this cable is a Kelvin fixture, has a Kelvin probe, or uses switches. Once you have selected the appropriate type, click Next. You will see a screen saying Learn New Cable Net List. You will need to select several options before continuing. First, choose between Quick Scan or Max Resistance. Next, choose Ignore NC. This means ignore unconnected net. Then, indicate if your product has free ends. Lastly, indicate if your product has embedded components. Once everything has been set, press Learn. The Meridian will prompt you to insert the sample product, then press OK to continue. Press OK once you are ready, and then press Continue. The Meridian will prompt the user for the product name. Enter the name and press OK. In this Tab View screen, the end user can do a couple of things before programming is complete and the cable file is saved. The General tab will let you examine test name, version, adapters being used, system settings for this test program, and editing and previewing reports. In the Nets tab, the user can customize Nets by editing or labeling the Nets. In the Low Voltage tab, the users can modify test parameters such as conductor continuity, isolation, low voltage testing scan type, and flex testing parameters. It also allows the user to obtain test parameters from the sample. In the High Pot tab, there are three subtabs, General, DC, and AC. The first subtab is the general tab, where users can set if they would like to test nets with multiple pins only, or all nets, including those with only one pin. The user can also set up the discharge delay time for their high pot tests. The next subtab is the DC tab, where the user can enable DC high pot, set test voltage, measure parameters, test limits, test duration for each net, scan type, dwell type, ramp time, and fault earth metric. In the last subtab, the AC tab, the users can enable AC high pot and set parameters as well. Under the components tab, the customer can add, remove, and edit all components that can be measured by Meridian. To add a component, highlight the component type, then click add. The Meridian will automatically generate a component. Highlight it, and then click on edit. The user will be able to set test parameters for this component. If you want to delete a component, highlight it, then click Remove. The Meridian will prompt for confirmation. The miscellaneous tab has only one current function, Custom Tear. This is only for certain products. Once all parameters are set, click on Save and save this test to your preferred location. You have now successfully programmed a cable with the Meridian.